Mm-hmm. Well, professional football is set to make a big return in the middle of a global pandemic. Fans and players are concerned about safety. Will the NFL get it right? Our guest right now is James Laval. He's a certified uh, pharmacist, author, and certified clinical nutritionist. <gasps> Deep breath. And he also works with the Pro Football Hall of Fame. You do it all. Are you ready for some football? <laughs> <laughs> of course, man. What, what's the fall like without football? Yeah, and these guys, I mean, you've obviously worked in this this field of predictive health. In your opinion, how are the leagues uh, faring, you know, mix this pandemic and and the role that nutrition and all this plays in it. Well, you know, it's interesting because I, I actually work with all five major league sports. So I've got uh, professional hockey teams, uh, soccer teams, football teams, but in particular, the work with the Pro Football Hall of Fame was working with gold jackets to really look at their diet, their metabolism, their chemistries, and start to unwind maybe the years of all that hard work that they did, in addition to try to point them in the direction of being healthy. With players, it's incredibly important that nutrition plays a role. We know that the way you eat influences your immune system. And certainly this pandemic has created some issues um, where we can look at things like zinc levels and vitamin D levels and vitamin C levels as actually being very relevant. And it's kind of exciting to see that we're actually pointing to nutrition now and saying, hey, this is a valuable part of how we stay well. Yeah, well, I mean, you are advising these awesome athletes who are per- based, who are performance based. We got to perform too. What would you advise us? Well, you know what? A- athlete bodies aren't any different than ours. <laughs> you know, we all yeah. got two legs, two arms, one heart, a couple kidneys. Uh, I got to stop so- you right oh. there, doctor. I, I mean, I have to stop you right there just because, uh, or I should say director, um, they are different from ours. <laughs> Well, you know what? They're, they're different in that uh, they perform at a higher level, more physicality, maybe need more calories, a little bit different support for recovery. So sleep is even more important than an athlete. But I can tell you that a lot of the athletes that I've worked on over the last 25 years have very similar complaints that everyday people have. Because in, in my uh, practice, we have both the, you know, what I say, the normal population or the non-athlete population, and then the athlete population. And, you know, people are stressed. People get GI problems. People have trouble with sleep. They get muscle cramps. They get muscle spasms. And a lot of these things can be controlled through, you know, good, solid nutrition. Sometimes you need to take a dietary supplement. Uh, but, but yeah, there's no doubt athletes do require a little bit more than the average person when it comes to getting out there and performing at their best. You actually have a book called Your Blood Never Lies. Uh, Why is blood work so important? Well, you know, it's interesting. Um, Blood work can actually tell you when things are possibly going in the wrong direction. So you're looking at trend analysis, right? So for example, you could be becoming a diabetic for 10 years before you become a diabetic. And as your blood sugar numbers are going up, you should be looking at those and going, hey, you know what? Maybe I need to change my lifestyle, start exercising. And of course, there's some uh, strong data showing that you know getting enough magnesium, getting enough chromium could have an impact on that as well. Uh, and, and that starts to shape your lifestyle and the decisions you make. So we don't have to just look at blood tests as, oh, I have a disease. You can start to look at them as, how far am I away from being the best I can be? And that applies to everybody, you, me. You know, We can all work harder to stay well. And I think, unfortunately, our pandemic showed that people that were at risk were folks that, you know, were overweight, diabetic, had heart disease, largely things that many of us could do a lot to try and either prevent or reduce the progression. So is there one supplement, and I have to nod to our co-host, Amy, because we talk about supplements all the time. (laughs) Is there Uh one in particular we should be paying attention to right now? Well, I mean, I like aged garlic extract. Um, the, the reason I like aged garlic extract uh, is that it works on decreasing inflammatory chemicals in your body. Uh, it improves blood vessel flexibility, so it helps with blood pressure. And then one of the really important things is it, it triggers the, these immune cells called gamma delta T cells. And, you know, big fancy word for T killer cells that like to get out there and kill bugs. So, um, <laughs> you know, I, I really like 
uh, aged garlic extract. It's known as kyolic, actually, as, as, an, as something that everybody could consider taking. And then, you know, look, a lot of athletes are drinking green drinks now. They see the value in them. Mm. They feel better when yeah, they're on sure. them. When, you know, so there's, there's different <laughs> things that you can do other than that. We got our co-host, Amy, Amy, back. She was writing some notes. She's all into this. We are, too. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. You can read more on Jim on social media and his website at jimlaval.com. Uh, Dion, over to you.